Welcome to Yellow Circle Learning Platform. In this video, I will be showing you how to request port forwarding to your virtual machine. Yellow Circle Platform is designed to be used with a browser, and we give students access to their virtual machine's console within the dashboard. Now, there are some students who prefer to use their own tools like PuTTY, Remote Desktop, or directly connect to their virtual machine. And this is when you need to request port forwarding. Now, there are some prerequisites before submitting a port, request, port forwarding request. So it is assumed that you already have an account with the Yellow Circle and have already created the basic components of your data center like routers, networks, and a virtual machine. And you have a virtual machine that already have a floating IP address associated with it. And we start by logging into Yellow Circle dashboard. After you successfully log in, you switch over to your Instances tab. This is where your virtual machines are listed. So in this case, we have a CentOS 6 instance running, and that's what we're going to use to submit a request. Now, there's three things that you need to know before submitting a request. Number one, what is your backend application? Is it SSH, Remote Desktop, Minecraft Server, or a website? Each of these services run on different ports, and we'll talk more about it once we are ready to submit a request. Now, the item two is name of your project, which is in the top left corner of your cloud dashboard. Uh, make sure you either make a note of it or just simply copy it to your clipboard. The next thing is the floating IP address associated with your virtual machine. If you look at your virtual machine, floating IP address is a second address in IP address column. What I do recommend is that you open up two tabs in your browser, so it can be really easy to copy and paste all this information. Now we are pretty much ready to submit our request. As you can see, the port forwarding request page describes the things we just went over. And we just scroll down to the form, and the first thing it asks is, the duration, how long you want your port forwarding for. Is it one month or a whole year? The second one is what's your backend application is. So RDP runs over port 3389, SSH on 22, a web server port 80, or a Minecraft server which runs on 25,565. So select your application that you're running on your virtual machine, and next you can just paste your project name or you can type it in if you prefer. In my case, I'm just going to paste it. And the next one is your floating IP address. Um, I'm going to switch back to my other screen and actually copy the floating IP address and then simply paste it into the form. Now at this point, I'm going to click on subscribe now, which will redirect you to PayPal website. This is where you will make the payment. Um, you just log in with your PayPal email address and password, click login, and complete the payment process. You will automatically be redirected to one of our page um, after you successfully made the payment, which pretty much says thank you for the payment. And I'm going to show you that page right now. And um, pretty much you have successfully submitted a request for report forwarding at this point. And what's going to happen now is you will receive an email from one of our staff members that will have detailed information about your request, which will include your URL and the port number um, for your um, service. Now, this can take a few hours, so be patient and enjoy. And we hope that this video was helpful and hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.